Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today with the help of Leonardo we are going to repair a Samsung A71 that doesn't charge. This is a very common failure in all Samsung devices A series. We have repaired it a lot of. If you are a technician or if you have in your hands this device, stay until the end of the video to understand why it's failing. We won't be long with the disassembly process, let's go straight to the point. We only have to remove the back cover, the middle casing and that's it. Before continue with the repair, first we need to remove the battery connector. This is the main flex that joins the charging port board with the motherboard. To find out where the charging fault is, we just have to connect the charger and look for the 5 volts on the charging pin. If we've got these 5 volts in the charger, then we also have to measure the AFPC connector. We have repaired so many devices with this failure that we are not going to measure anything. We are going to look for the causer directly, it takes less time. Then the charger voltage goes through the flex and it arrives here on this AFPC connector. First we inspect the main flex. As a general rule, one of four AFPC connector has cracks in the solder, but not always. Today we are going to see it. On these connectors, you should pay a lot of attention on both sideways. We won't take long with the inspection, we go straight to the failure. To inspect properly these connectors, we have to position the microscope at 45 degrees, in this way we'll have a good image. Now we are going to inspect the connector number 3. This is the FPC connector of the SAP motherboard, the charging port board. This one seems fine. We continue our visual inspection of the AFPC connectors from the motherboard. First, we remove this foam protection. The solder looks fine. Have a look to this plastic connector, here we can observe it better. The plastic is broken in half. The solution in this case is to replace the connector with the new one. As a rule, in our workshop, when we find a common failure, we buy some more parts and in this way, in less than 5 minutes, we will replace it with a new one. When you manage to master the technique, this is an easy procedure. We apply a little heat and flux to extract the connector easier. To extract it easily, we have to distribute well the heat across the surface. 
Below, in the description of this video, I leave you the link from our website where you can find most of the tools from our laboratory. Check it out and if you have any doubt, please leave your comment. Thank you. Using some cotton and contact cleaner, we clean the area well. As you can see, the connector next to it is ok, has not been affected by anything. We apply some flux and solder paste so we can change the composition. If you like this type of content, please don't forget to give it a strong like and share it so we'll take care to perform more such repairs in our laboratory. Thank you. With the help of the desoldering wick, we clean the area to remove the old solder lid. The working area looks spectacular. We clean it again using contact cleaner. Again, we apply a bit of flux and solder paste. For soldering, we use 183 Celsius degrees solder paste. With the tip of the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees, we pass all over the pads. We shouldn't forget about the flux, which is our friend in all this process. In this way, each pad takes the amount it needs, nothing more and nothing less. But for that, we have to use a good flux and a good solder paste. You can also use solder wire. Now it's time to place the AFPC connector. We use a hot air station without nozzle at 300 Celsius degrees and 30% air. The temperature and working distance depends on each air station. For example, you can raise the temperature a little more and move the nozzle away a little from the connector. The trick consists in distributing the heat well so the solder lid melts equally. Here we have the final result. The solder has to be bright and strong.
I like to solder the sides apart. These large pads dissipate well the heat, so using a thin tip and a good solder wire, you can solder it well. In this way, we solder all the pads. We assemble the device using the fast camera. Our final conclusion about the failure of Samsung Galaxy Series A. The plastic connector of this model are made of a poor quality material and in both sides the soldering is very bad, so over time cracks. So you need to pay attention to the main flex and both FPC connectors. You might fix the charging problem by changing the main flex or replacing the plastic connector damaged. Also, a good microscope can help you in offer a correct diagnosis. We connect the charging connector to observe the consumption with the power Z. Also, we can use a USB tester. The device has a consumption of 1.8 amperes, which is a good consumption for this device. We turn on the device and here we can observe the charge on the screen. Here is Leonardo, this was today's video, I hope you like it and see you in the next one. All the best!